Well, I think the world is very impressed with what India has done. Yeah. India has uh, achieved success on their very first attempts, yeah. both for Chandrayaan and for Mangalyaan. Yeah. Science exploration, India has done rather well and done it cheaply. In the coming day, in the future, there's going to be a space war or anything like that. What we... I <laughs> hope not, but it's possible. That has been played up by the media. There is no fear the, about her coming back. The only thing uh, she was not prepared for was the length of stay. Okay. But that doesn't mean that it is going to endanger her life. How do you see the present scenario of the space programs in India and uh, from your, your time and now what kind of developments is happening like? How do you see? Is it during my time, basically there were just uh, two countries who were busy in, in, in this area. That was Russia and America, yeah. and so they were competing with each other, yeah. whereas uh, we were quietly uh, doing uh, our applications program, our satellite program, primarily because it was helping our economy. So our focus was uh, within our country, yeah. their focus was the geopolitical race, yeah. so they were busy on doing that. So that was a big difference at that time. But ever since then, I think we realized most of the aims of what this, what space can do for the common people. Okay. And we've done that, and having done that, now we've gone into the manned space program. Yeah. And uh, so that's the next step. Okay. So, but now that we are going into the manned space program, the private sector in the West has also joined the whole game. Okay. And when the private sector gets into it, then... Obviously, the focus shifts. Now you're going to go to outer space, not to explore, but to exploit it. And when you exploit it, and you've got to satisfy your shareholders, then the last thing which you have uh, in your uh, focus is uh, sustainability. So that, that will happen. So that's what worries me. Yeah, recently there is a, there is a lot of uh, developments happening in the space sector like this, and right now that International Space Station where the Sunita Williams is also there, and uh, she's also stuck up in that uh, International Space Station. She may be also have to stay for stay there for almost seven months. By February 25th, only she may have to return back. You see, this all is uh, the safety of uh, traveling in space. She's not unsafe. Yes, what else? I don't know that. Now about Sunita Williams that has been uh, yeah, stuck in. That has been played up by the media. There is no fear the, about her coming back. Okay. Uh, she's been going to be there, yes, for a few months. Okay. The only thing uh, she was not prepared for was the length of stay. Okay. But that doesn't mean that it is going to endanger her life. Uh, the world record is twice as long as she has stayed. Okay. She's going to be staying till February. Okay, so there's no worry on that. So. No, right now India is going on various space programs like that because that uh, Mangalyan program, all that uh, Gaganyan is also on the lineup. And do you think what kind of uh, will, uh, see how does how the globe see uh, the world see about India in this kind of? Uh, well, I think the world is very impressed with what India has done. Yeah. India has. Uh, achieved success on their very first attempts, yeah. both for Chandrayaan and for Mangalyaan. Yeah. And uh, Gaganyaan. It's, it's, it's wonderful. And now that Gaganyaan is around the corner. So uh, Gaganyaan by itself is nothing great because others have also done it. There are yeah. more than 600 astronauts who have already launched okay. earlier. So, but I think uh, science exploration, India has done rather well and done it cheaply. In, so it's a very frugal space program that we run, which is uh, which is everybody's envy, because uh, other other nations are spending a lot more for the same kind of data which we are getting. Okay. Right now, for the space programs, so NASA is also planning to tra train Indian Air Force also for the space programs. Uh, what is your view to this? Yeah, so so two of our astronauts have gone there. Yeah. It's a good good idea because you're going to get another perspective. Tomorrow you're going to have your own uh, uh, laboratory in, in orbit, permanent orbit. Yeah. So here you're going to get a chance to have a look at the International Space Station. So you're going to gain and learn from all that. Yeah. You're going to observe that. And all of this is going to help. And the same astronauts who will continue with the program later, their expertise will be required 
to make our own space station. So this is what we have. In the days, in the recent days and nowadays, we see a lot of competitions between countries in the space science and technology like this. Uh, do you see this? It is a healthy sign for the... A competition is always healthy. But the point is that how is it run? How is that competition run? What is the end result of that competition? Yeah. That is what is more important. Yeah. And uh, from on that aspect, I think it's still a developing uh, situation. How we are going to exploit, yeah. uh, whether we are going to share that knowledge with, with the rest of humanity, because the United Nations feels yeah. that space belongs to all humanity. Okay. So in that sense, it's not going to be uh, very good to yeah. have small pockets yeah. who are going to be doing things only for themselves. Yeah. Now, in your, in, in your address also, we're just talking about that oh, uh, debris. In your address, yeah. you just uh, yeah. in your interaction, you yeah. said that uh, the debris in that uh, space is going to be a big problem like this. Yeah, yes. What kind of uh, this thing issue is going to challenges that in the, in the coming days? Are going well, <laughs> the challenge is who's going to clean it up? Yeah. It's very easy to litter, but who's going to clean it up? So the less you litter, yeah. the less of a problem you have. Yeah. Of course, work is underway. Yeah. They are trying to find out the best yeah. way to clean up whatever okay. debris that is already there. Okay. So let's see where yeah. it goes. What do you see in the coming day in the future is going to be a space war or anything like that? What we? I <laughs> hope not, but it's possible. It's possible. Yes.